If you guys need a cheap, safe, fast, and reliable coin service, go to FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com and use Dirty at checkout to get yourself an additional 5% off. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the top five silver midfielders in FIFA Ultimate Team. We're looking at center attacking mids, center mids, and CDMs all in one countdown. If you enjoy the content, drop a thumbs up, drop a like right now, share it around a little bit, and hit me with some comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who's in your top five? I'm always interested in suggestions and feedback, but without further ado, Let's get this show on the road. Into the first batch of honorable mentions, we've got Uchan. And check out that mustache that he's rocking. And he's kind of a rare breed, especially for Silvers. Five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. And he's pretty much above average across the board. Then Hernandez, who has good size. He's got the skills. He's fast. Unfortunately, his passing could be just a little bit better. Maybe a tad bit more physical. That's what kept him out of my top five. And then Trejo, who's got the perfect work rates, the four-star weak foot, the four-star skill moves. Uh, if you use him as a cam especially, he's going to get the job done. A lot of easy link-ups. The Argentinians this year are coming on strong. Zooming and booming into the second portion of honorable mentions. And we've got the Brazilian, Vitinho. And he's got the skill moves. He can hit it from distance. I don't understand why his work rates are so off. Especially for a Brazilian with 29 defense. Why does he have a high defensive work rate? It kind of throws off his positioning from time to time. Then we have Peña, the Mexican. Oh, he's got the juice. He can run, run, and run, and he is quick, and he's easy to use. I like putting him into squads here and there. And then I'm not sure if the guy's name is pronounced Mate or Mate, but he's a CDM option in the legal BVA. I would recommend trying. He's got a high defensive work rate, a low attack. He's a perfect CDM. However, as you may see in the card right now, he's not going to help you on the offensive end. He's not going to produce any goals. He's not going to get forward. That's not what he's in the squad for. At number five, we've got Emre Can. And I feel like I butcher so many different Turkish ancestry pronunciations. It just seems to be a habit of mine. I'm sure people will correct me. I watch the BPL every weekend, and it just takes me a while to get some of the guys' names right. Even Koscioni. Oh, my goodness. I swear it was months to have that coming free-flowing with no issues. I know that sounds silly, but, hey, it is what it is. But he has four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. And I find him really easy to use and abuse with. He's got great numbers, especially for Silver. And he has that little added bit of creativity and good first touches. At number four, we've got Akin Fenwa's brother, Kuyate. Uh, he's just a true beast. He's got so much power, so much strength. He reminds me of Yaya Torre, if we're looking at a Silver player, just without the ability to finish and some of the first touches. And, and those kind of things along that line, but the size and the presence that he offers on the pitch, woo, it's looking good. At the midway point, and I can proudly talk about this man as being an overpowered left back last year. So many Serie A squads, but constant. He's now a center mid. His stats really haven't adjusted all that much uh, from the previous year of FIFA, but he's now in a different position. It works. He's, he's big. He's physical. He's fast. He can shoot from distance. He's got the long shot taker trade. I love using Kevin Constant. Can I get an amen for number two? Oh, the runner-up position goes to Big Muhammad. I cannot stop putting this fool into squads. He's so damn good. And he hasn't lacking anywhere on the pitch, whether it's a first touch, it's the pace, it's the power, it's the strength, it's the size, long shot taker trait. I feel like he might even have flair. He's got four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, but I just can't go wrong. He will hold it down in the midfield for you. He's as good as a lot of the best golds, even in the BPL. That impressive. That impressive. Top of the charts, we're raising the roof. We've got Makai Steven, and this should not be too much of a surprise if you've watched a lot of my videos, the squads, the live streams. He's got five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He's fast. He's left-footed, and he can do it all. I think that he's a lot better than his stats suggest, especially in terms of shooting and finishing 1v1s. I score all sorts of different types of goals. I got a lot of variety. But if you guys do enjoy the content, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA, and I have a lot more coming for you ASAP, ASAP.